Here's another one of my yard sale finds. I got these for 50 cents each. They appeared to be in working order, so my plan was to just clean them up. The larger blue-handled screwdriver was in the worst shape of the two. It looked like someone used heat to reattach the plastic handle. I was able to clean up the blade on the smaller red-handled screwdriver with a little bit of sanding and Scotch-Brite. The blade on the other screwdriver had pretty deep scratches. Since the blade looked like it was hollow ground, I used a sanding drum in my drill press to match the curvature. I used wet and dry paper with water to sand the plastic handles. I think I started with 800, then 1000 grit. The red handle was in pretty good shape. It looked pretty good after sanding down to 3000 grit. A careful polishing with the Dremel was the final touch. The blue handle needed more work. I filed down the melted section. I wasn't able to get it completely smooth, but it looked better than it did. I started with 320 paper on this handle and worked my way down to 1000. This handle had a lot more wear and scratches. I wasn't sure how much I could improve its appearance. I went ahead with the 3000 grit and the Dremel polishing anyway. Considering what I started with, the handle turned out okay. I struggled with what to do about the shafts on both screwdrivers. They had what appeared to be copper plating over steel. So I decided to sand down to the steel and polish with flits. So here's some before and after photos. I think sanding away the plating and polishing the shafts was the right decision. Both screwdrivers have the same patent number. The patent dates to 1948 and shows how these screwdrivers work. The blade is actually made of two pieces. When the hollow shaft is pushed down toward the screw, the blades slide over one another causing a wedging action that holds the screw. Quick Wedge has been in business since 1952 and still sells screw holding screwdrivers today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.